Hello everyone, Falcorpa here. Hope you all had a fantastic weekend, enjoyed your time off, and such. We are once more back at it, uh, in the capital of Landell, beelining it to the sewers. So that we can pick up that, uh, you know, advance uh, the Dung Eater's quest far enough in so that we can give him some of that Celibus Kool-Aid that we all know and love. So, whoa. Honk. There we go. Um, this area is a real here there be dragons situation because I've never really spent that much time. Oh my. Big dude. Oh no. Um, I never really did a deep dive exploration. It was at the point where I had uh, the Mimic tier in my first playthrough, so I kind of just like wandered at my leisure. Whoa, dude, that's a new one for me. Uh, I just kind of, whoa, crap. Didn't think this through. How far up is that going to go? Okay, homie. Thank you. I guess I can't uh, crit you. Or if I can, I just messed it up. But yeah, anyway, I... Uh, I'm not just saying here there be dragons because there's a dragon right there, but uh, yeah, I'm going to get lost on the way to the sewers. That's just a, uh, a fact of life, unfortunately. Hey, buddy. You're mighty unobservant. Not that I'm complaining. Ooh, thank you for the page garb. Let's see if there's anything... Wait for it. Okay. Uh, juicy about the page garb. Okay, the dudes are going to get on my uh, on my nerves real quick. Oh, here we are. Garb worn by pages who serve the nobility and are mindful to keep them out of harm's way. Traveling wear tailored with exquisite precision to avoid any undue shame for the page's master. Well, that's good. Yeah, your entourage has to have the drip. Elsewise, how can you be respected coming into uh, Lane Dell? Okay, this really feels like the kind of place where someone would sneak up on me. But no, it's just Dute Master 420 over here. Uh, ooh. It's your boy. He needs to pull this lever. Yoink. I don't know what's that way. But, again, I'm not planning on, uh... Really doing... A deep exploration of Lane Dell currently. I've got business to attend to. Thank you. Anyone else? Who oh boy. Y'all just kind of died sad. Oh. Sorry to say. That you, uh, you died, sadly. Nope. Yeah, that's right. Okay, how about you? Can I just get my health back? Oh, Toximika! Hold on just a moment. I need to make space for my darling baby cat, Birdie, who decided he wants to be on my lap now. Come on, bud. Settle. Any whomst. Yoink. Hmm. And of course, a reminder as always, this stream is an Elden Ring AMA. Bring me your Elden Ring questions. 
no matter how weird, how unlikely, I shall do my best to answer them. Okay, I don't think I've got the ups, uh, ups mad enough to get up here. Do you hear that? I believe that's the sound of a page playing the flute, because they are flautists. We've got, like, a whole ensemble here. Okay, I just wish I could tell whereabouts is... Oh, is that him? Yeah, we can do this. Yeah, sure enough. This is Jethro Tull up in here. Not that I'm complaining. It's pleasant. Uh, this blood smear is less pleasant. Why are there so many dead dudes? Is it uh, the inhalation of ash? They've got the black lung. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, that's where you go to die. I'm very thankful for these, uh... Guys who just kind of stand here. Free 378 runes. Curious, but not so curious as to walk in. Um... No, we'll fly... A fight, flute boy. Ooh, whoa. Yeah, sure enough, it's night out. Great. I love exploring places that I don't know very well at night. It's my favorite. So sorry. Your music was beautiful. Keep up the good work. You'll be in the... Whatever the Lane Dell version of Carnegie Hall is in no time. Okay, I guess I'm doing this. But I'm not thrilled about it. Hoo wee, okay. So I'm just gonna explore my options here. I've got a, a down right here, and I've got a down over there. I'll take the down over here. Well, am I? Am I, though? Yeah, I'm gonna take it down over here. Okay. Woo! Mm. Oh, doglets! Crap. Thank you. Give me the other thing, thank you. Alright, any more doggos? Ah, <sighs> dogs. There's a topic I was going to bring up, but now I just can't remember it. Uh, regarding... Character of Elden Ring. Sorry, I just... Hyper-paranoid in an area I'm not terribly familiar with. I don't think it's all that... Shocking. Okay. I... Yep. I know where I am now. Let's go. How did I not die from that? Ah, uh, crap. That's all she wrote for you, bud. Oh. 
May thy knife chip and shatter. Yoink. That's not so bad a, uh, a gift. Okay. Thanks, boyos. You really helped me out. Now I have to try to remember... Yeah, many, many pardons for this particular part. I, uh, know there's a side of grace very close by, but have no idea where exactly it is. So I'm just going to kind of run back and forth until I get a, a comfortable idea of where I might find it. All right, so just going to look that way. Doesn't appear to be there. Where are you? Is it over here? This looks like where one goes to get doggoed. So that's not the right answer. I'm back. I think it might be over here. This feels right. And once I figure out exactly where it is, I will have a good landmark. Aha! Yes, a good landmark for where I need to be going. All right. Ooh. Sit down here for a second, get my stuff back. And excuse me for just a moment. Okay. Where am I sitting at rune-wise? Wow, I picked up a decent amount. I feel kind of nervous running around with uh, this much on me, but, you know, it's less than half. So it's not it's not that big of a deal. This is probably locked, huh? Yep, locked. That's fine. Anything over in this corner? No. No, no, no. Um, oh, yeah. I was going to mention... Oh, crap. Roses. The character Roses, who is like the guide to the dead, uh, who has statues all over the lands between that leads you to catacombs, to me, is associated with Erdtree Burial. Makes sense. Uh, given that, you know, his uh, emblem or his, his statuaries lead you to catacombs where people are buried at the roots of the earth tree. Uh, ooh wee! Nice. I'll be taking that. Oh, I won't be taking that back. Okay, that's fine. Um, however... His axe, um, unless I am mistaken, me, okay, I'm clearly still in danger here. So I need to act like I'm still in danger, and yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Um, the axe of Rosas that you pick up in the uh, Black Knife catacombs in northeast Liernia, it is a... It has a... Ow. Okay, let's do this correctly this time. It has a unique skill that summons skeletons, who of course live in death. Um, okay, I'm waiting for it to calm down again so I can read some items descriptions. Please, please. Okay, you know what, if you're, if you're gonna be like this game, then I'm just gonna... Yeah. Oh, hello. Gonk. Oh, yep. Saw that coming. Tsuvite, Tsuvek, Tsutot. Where are you, homies? There you are. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Whew. 
Hoo wee! God! You have just a. That much more health than I think you should. Okay, are we done? Folks, can I take a moment to compose myself? Nope. This is what I'm looking for. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. Did I forget to pick up the axe? Or was it not a... Hmm... Was it a halberd? It does not appear to be a halberd. God, I've got three of those. Why? Okay, well... Can't pick up the Axe of Roses. I do want to read the description for... The Lane Dell Knights, though. Wherever they may be. Alright. Gauntlets worn by knights sworn to defend the royal capital of Lane Dell. Time has still... Or has yet to dull their... Luster. Not terribly exciting. Um, but yeah, if I'm not mistaken, the Axe of Roses... It, uh... Summons... Skeletons. Skellyfellies. So what on earth... Would, uh... Rosis have to do with those who live in death. It's passing curious. Oh man. I don't know if y'all can hear it the way that I can, but there you can hear the faint sound of moaning wailing Albinorix who I must put out of their misery. However, uh, it will not be straightforward or pleasant. Oh, hello. Scary, scary gargoyle. I, I really hate looking at these gargoyles. They're really terrible to look upon. The Valiant ones, they're fine. Like, they're, they're not... They don't look like they're grafting victims. Oh, gravel stone. Nice. Okay. Sorry about the slow going here. I'm just like... My hackles are raised with the sounds. Ooh-wee. Well, that's good. If I ever need to use one of those, I got it. Alright. Um, okay, so this is a dead end. Somewhere along the line, I missed my turn. I, I gotta go up here. Under the uh, watchful eye of Grand Sax. Come on. Okay, I'm guessing that's not a way that I'm supposed to go. Hooey! Man, the the sound. The sound of these poor these poor guys. It's just the worst. Cause they are suffering. And not only is there nothing I can do about it, but they're suffering all but... Uh, is this what I'm looking for? That looks like roughly the shape of a, a well top. All right, you guys. Look, I know you're around. Just can we dispense with the flap doodle and... Got some finger creepers over there. Got this thing over here that I'm just, I'm not going to bother with. Honestly, because as soon as I walk down here, I'm going to get charged at. Yep, do you hear it? There it is. Oh, crap. Oh, my. Nope, 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 nope. Here they come. Anyone else? Hooey. I guess I might have... Whoa! Okay. Yes. Yes, I hear you all. I know you're upset. And I don't blame you. But consider not taking your misery out on me. Okay, I need to read the Alpenor Blood... Well, have I? I'm sure that I have. 
Like, if you watch uh, Elden Ring lore at all, ooh, man, I'm covered in blood, um, you'd know that uh, Smotown is utterly manic about the Albanoric blood clot. And it has a lot of uh, important lore implications with the Albanorics, because, of course, um, they are manufactured beings, manufactured by the, the Nox, and, of course, the Greater Will is not a fan of folks who take the creation of life into their own hands. Uh, and has thus given everyone in the lands between free reign, whether they believe in the sanctity of the greater will or not, uh, to oppress and torture and exploit these poor, poor creatures who want only to have a place in this world. This is a waste of arrows. But you know what? It's dark. And I can be forgiven for not wanting to charge into a nest of rats, I think. It is my humble opinion that I don't have to... get suckered into normal gameplay. Yoink. Huh. Ooh, jiggly rat tail. Blip, 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 blip. What we got here? Is this a door? This is not a door. This is just a... A grate. Okay. So if I have issues with Lane Dell, then whatever I have with the, uh... Lane Dell sewer is, is a step above, a call beyond if you please. Uh, it is utterly labyrinthine. Uh, like, Bloodborne called once it's challenged dungeons back. But they did you the service, that most important service, of uh, making it easy to find the Dung Eater. <laughs> So really, I won't have to spend all that much time here. I thought this was going to be like a multi-episode endeavor. Okay, hey, bugger. Nope. Ow, no, I deserve that. Thank you. Now I'll be taking all of that back. Ow, woo. Oh, no. Nope. Okay. Whew. Yeah, omens are tough. When you don't have weapons that are going to stun lock them. Okay, I'm just gonna... What am I working with? Seven... Seven of these, two of the other? I think... I'll be fine if I don't sit down and summon that other one. I'll do this too. Cool. God, I bemoan the day that I become so uh, high in mind that a single swig of my cerulean flask doesn't fill up my FP. Absolutely rue it. Ah, wow, wow. Enough of that. Thank you. Why am I bothering to defeat them all? Because I don't want them chasing me, is the answer to that question.
Ow. What? Oh, wow. Didn't even mean to do that. Oof. Thank you. These guys got hands. Ooh, blood, bloodstain manchettes and bloodstain mask. Let's um. Now that we are safe enough, take a look at the bloodstain stuff. Mask formed from a tightly wound or tightly wound bandages soaked through with blood. Even the most ghastly cover is more inviting than the festering face beneath. Not sure I understand. Uh. Okay. Any protection is welcome for the festering arms beneath you. Okay. So, I guess what I am to take from this is that in addition to being a place where you throw your unwanted omens, you can also uh, cast aside people who are unwelcome in polite society uh, in the sewers, and they fester like you do when you are exposed to all manner of filth. Or it could be an implication that uh, the person who wore that is a whoa surprise rat. Come on. Yes, I see you over there. Come on. Rats got jukes. What about you? You got jukes? No? That's fine. I don't care to see your jukes. Uh. This is miserable. There we go. Oh, that's fine. I didn't want to crit the flower. Ooh. Shut that. Oh, crap. Oh my god! Ooh wee, okay. That really did nothing. I don't have to fight all of these. I only had to fight the one that was in the way. So long, sucker. Yeah, I'm not... I'm not wholly... Uh, forgetting... this area. Oh! A touch hardy, are we? Oh, crap. Yep, yeah, that's what I thought. Anyone else? We got a giant hand in here? Oh, of course we got a giant hand in here. 
Well, joke's on you, giant hand. You are conspicuous. Okay. Nope. Oh my god, I almost died. <sighs> Ayo! Do you hear that? <sighs> Let me out. Let me out of here. The roomy cell you got, bud. Everything that matters to you for generations to come. I am the dung eater, a scourge upon the living. You sure are. Who are you? Leave your jail. Please leave your jail. They don't want you here either. I've been here oh, Lord. Anything else you gotta say? I will kill again. Just no. Okay. Kill. Yeah. Great. Awesome. So if we are to take this through to operating on some assumptions, so let us assume that the dung eater got his name because he eats shirakadamas. Uh, that little ball-shaped organ just above your anus that houses your soul. Um, and let's say that the curse he wants to apply is meant to be the uh, omen curse which were implied which is implied because there aren't that many curses in Elden Ring uh, the omen curse is the one he's most heavily associated with given that his armor is meant to be uh, cut um, uh, omen horns the full scale implication here is that omens don't have souls Yay, though, we can almost be assured that they do. Wow, that's a lot. Um, ooh, do I want to do that? Okay, so how much do I need status? I need 19,000. Um, ooh, buddy. No, because I'm about to spend some. It'd be a waste. All right, let's go here. I need to do better than this. This will never kill a god. I can do better than this. It needs to slay a bloody god. Oh, buddy, don't beat yourself up. Um, any of your weapons are enough to slay a, a god. Oh, it's you. Don't pay me any mind. It's not important. Just lay out your arms. Well, you know, if you don't want to talk about it, that's fine. Okay, and I think actually... So let's see, we're at uh, 136 and 162 for physical and magic individually. I think I have enough to get myself up to plus 9, so let's do it. Wow. Yeah. I'm going to be hitting a touch harder now. <laughs> oh, very good. Very good. Do you have anything new to say? Greetings. Are you here for spirit tuning? I need to warn you about something. A little while ago, someone started lurking in the wing on the opposite side of the round table. And I can hear, from all the way over there, the howling and wailing of spirits in fear of a curse. I can even hear the repulsive twisted malice in itself. A plethora of spirits in an unceasing cacophony. I can't even imagine. How much suffering inflicted to who knows how many souls. Not even the crafting caused anything like this to happen. You should keep your distance. I know you're strong, but please. 
I can't hear them anymore. The voices of the spirits cowering from the curse. I suppose the Dung Eater must have left the round table. You're welcome Just to that. pray nothing ill comes of this. Oh, only the illest will come from this. Um... Hold up, bud. Oh, I've been waiting for your return. I've decided to leave the round table hold after okay. all. Okay. As I mentioned, I'm off in search of the noble gold mask. We may not meet again for some time. If there's any incantations you wish to learn, now's the moment. Mm, no, I'm good. In order shine through you. Later. All right. Who, who do we think is a worse person? Uh, between the dung eater and uh, Gideon Offnir. Because I kind of feel like Gideon Offner is is worse. I don't know. It's it's difficult to say. The I think it's it's the callous distance between him and his terrible acts and or er, actions that. Uh, makes him worse to me. Not that it matters that much. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to pick up the map fragment while I'm thinking about it. Um, because the Dung Eater does some truly wretched stuff. But he does own his, uh, his wretched behavior. Did I pick this up? I picked this up. Okay. Uh, whereas <laughs> I don't, I don't know exactly what Gideon thinks of himself, but the fact that he's just kind of, Oh, Hey, there you are. I'll talk to you in a second. Um, the fact that he, is inconvenienced uh, when his adoptive daughter discovers that he, you know, committed genocide on a town and uh, then casts her out for it. Just feels like some some lowest scum in history attitude. Okay, uh, the Altus Plateau, where the Erd Tree's base can be found, contains the royal capital of Landel to the east and Mount Gelmir to the west. Scars from the Shattering remain apparent to this day. Yeah, they sure do. Uh, okay, hey, bud. Ah, look who we have here. How delightful to meet a familiar face, even after departing the Round Table Hold. I've been doing some learning of my own since then, actually, and will happily pass it along to you. I'm yet to find the noble gold mask. I suppose he'll be closer to the Erd Tree. The path ahead might be perilous, but tread it I shall. Since departing the Round Table Hold, I've come to understand, in my solitude, how little it is I truly know. Well, that's, um... May the Golden Order shine through you. Often the first step to really truly learning something. Uh, becoming aware of your incredible, incredibly uh, thorough ignorance. Okay, I don't think it's over here. I kind of think it's... Mm, mm, I should have read the, the note a little bit better. Um, we're going to go... We're going to go here and see... Uh, if I am able to find it. Excuse me just a second. Okay, so, hey, it's raining. Um, all right. Sorry, just a moment, just a moment. I just want to see 
if I can speed this up a little bit by not wandering around any more than I have to. Okay, here we are. I've got a little map that I'm looking at now, and survey says that I'm a moron. It was that little tiny pool over there. Hi, birders. What are you doing? All right, we are going here. It will not be an easy road. Real quick, I'm just going to take a uh, brief detour off to the right. And let's see whereabouts this actually uh, points. Oh. Well, neato. Sure. Well, it... All right. Going to briefly ride my horse. Okay. Use the slow speed. I'm just trying to figure out. I'm losing the the golems for the trees, so to speak. I can't seem to spot them. Oh, there. Okay, there's one. What's going on over here? Like. Uh, I hope that. Those two combatants keep each other busy while I march on down. Okay, yep. There it is, the Crabbin Pool. I think I may have screwed up uh, a quest line here, unfortunately. Because I didn't really have that many interactions with uh, Blackguard Big Boggart, uh, who has a relatively important part to play in the Dung Eater questline, which I'm also scarpering, so I mean, like, <laughs> what's the... what's the real harm? If uh, Boggart doesn't show up here, then... I think we can be relatively assured that I screwed it up. I'm looking, I'm looking. Okay, I see Congrejos over there. I see a turtle. Um, lots of lots of crabs. Let's just Yeah, I think Normally, if you uh, if you talk to Boggart and you buy a prawn, and he says, "Hey, we could be mates," I reckon. And then he moves over here afterward to set up shop selling crab. Um, and then after you're summoned here by the dung eater, you find poor old Boggart, uh, who got the kappa treatment. Uh, sitting down on a chair with a very bloodied crotch so as to indicate that uh, who are you? Oh, ah, oh, beans. Alright, let's go, bud. Joke's on you. The crab's gonna be the one to kill you. Okay, come on. Okay, well, I thought the crab was going to be the one to kill you. Oh, okay, yeah. Ooh-wee! Oh no, oh no. This is... Ah, oh, beans. Well, you know, what are you going to do? Ooh-wee! Well, there goes the crab, I think. That's it for you, bud. 
Tschüss! I'll pick this up while I'm at it. Yeah, when I first played this, uh... The crab killed him and then very nearly killed me. God, I really don't want to deal with you, you folks. We'll read the Sword of Milos uh, in a sec. I assume it's Milos and not, like, Milos. Because it's... There we go, that's one. Okay. You done? Did you see what I did to your friend and now you're beginning to rethink your actions? Alright, here we are. Oh! Oh, that's just some guy! Okay, well... So sorry that you got did in by, uh... You know, the guy, but, um... At least it wasn't Mr. Boggart. Okay, what was I doing? This. And the Sword of Milos. Sinister greatsword fashioned from a giant's backbone. Meets out wounds like a lopsided saw blade and restores some FP upon defeating an enemy. Milos was undersized for a giant and was viewed as sullied and terribly grotesque. Um, terrible. Yeah, so he uh, took a, a dwarf troll... Uh, removed its vertebrae and uh, fashioned them into a terrible sword. Okay, so I believe that's that for um, that part of the quest. Now I gotta go back do all that stupid crap over again. Okay. Hello, dear lad. And note, if you please, out the the visual differences between. This omen and uh oh my god. And the omens that we found above ground uh when we first entered Altus. These ones are missing or they have their horns, whereas the other ones had their horns sawn off. Which I believe is a Ow, wow, wow, man. Oh, I'm getting my ass beat by this guy. Oh, can you just roll? Thank you. Aha! Oh, you're still alive. Well, thank you for... Getting a sick midair slash on you. I appreciate that. Okay, I don't need to mess with you. Um, you on the other hand. Whoa! Are you kidding me? Sometimes I think that the game just arbitrarily decides to add a three second delay to my inputs. Good night. But let us not whinge over it. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? Ugh! Guess what? No. Don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care. Oh god, I'm going to die. Or not. Okay, sure. Yeah, that's fine. Not complaining about not dying. So long, suckers. These ones seem quite fire resistant. Maybe it's just me, but they're not doing the roly poly floppy woppy. Come on. When I uh, attack them with fire.
What are you attacking? Oh no! Is this gonna be the end of Wakanda? Okay. Crap. That's fine. Okay, don't get greedy. Are you- whew. Oh my god! Are you kidding me? I absolutely dodged that. Oh crap. Suck it. Oh god, that went so poorly. No, 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 no. Oh man. Gotta go back. I guess. <sighs> okay, where does that put me? Three... Three thousand? Yeah, more or less. Okay. Yeah. There we go. I don't know if you can tell, not a huge fan of the sewers. Not looking forward to going back there and excavating it completely. Not thrilled that I have to go back again for a third time. Ugh, whatever. Hello. There you are. There I am. You warded off my blessing. Despite the curse stirring within you, no one has succeeded in that before. How? I thought. Then it hit me that you are, in fact, me. And I am the Dung Eater. It is my flesh that must receive the blessing. Okay, what do I have in the way of gestures that I can do next to you? I don't have the patches squat yet, do I? I can do this, though. Of course, I messed that up, because... Okay, come on, we're going to do this. Nope, come on, there we go. We're going to do this this. Alright. I'm satisfied. Do you have anything else to say to me? Blessing. Defile my flesh with the seed bed curse. Again and again. Until it is done. Until a cursed ring coalesces. And my one day defile order itself. Countless I have killed. And countless I have defiled. And soon the fruits will be born. Hundreds will be reborn cursed. And they'll bear thousands of cursed children. Who bear tens of thousands more. A few of those will be born just like me. And they'll kill and defile. And bless in my stead. The rotten fools. My fate was the grandest. Most brilliant of them all. Well, that's, um... That's an opinion, isn't it? Anyway, um... Here to tell you that things may not turn out the way you want them to. Okay, let's... Go in a third time. Woo! Something I might try this time. Now that I've spent the runes that would otherwise have been used, uh... My god, they don't even care! Nope.
jokes on you? Okay, get, come on. Uh. Okay, these are the guys I can't get away with not uh, murking, unfortunately. Wait, oh hey! Ohio! Thank you, Dung Eater. You did me a real surface, bud. I really don't like the blood stains on the helmet. Reminds me very much of um, the the very opening of the Bloodborne DLC, the Old Hunters, uh, the the woman chanting, "Curse the fiends, their children too, and their children forever true." Definitely a similar vibe. He's gonna just create a hunter's nightmare for uh, for those uh, hoity-toity bigots in the Golden Order. Or he would, if I wasn't doing this. No. Oh, I am. You sure are, bud. Oh, I am. Good night. That's right. It's just good business to take the uh, the machinations of one fucky wucky guy and use them to ruin the machinations of another fucky wucky guy, <laughs> thus spoiling both. Well, we've done it. We did the thing, and it only took about an hour. Ah, uh, well, you know, not including all of the setup and such, but it only took me an hour to get from the entrance to Leyendel, or from the entrance to Leyendel to, uh, you know, where we are today. Now, I believe... If we go to the Dolly Dungeon, we will see our dear... Cursed companion. There we are. That was a weird hop. Let's see here. Survey says okay, we got the Omen Killer, we got Theralina, I think. Uh, we got. Who's a Dolores? We've got. Jarrite. We've got the Shadow of Celevis. Uh, that's Theralina. I don't know who the other person is. Uh, Selen and the Dung Eater. Yep. Okay. Well, fun, fun, fun. Imagine, imagine, if you will, what I'm imagining, which is lands between Amazon guy comes up and and knocks on Silvis's door says here's your uh here's that real doll you ordered and Silvis is rubbing his hands thinking about all the the terrible defilement he'll get up to yoy 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 um with what he assumes to be Nefeli Lu only to open it up and reveal the cankerous uh odor of the dung eater. Ah, so you made Nefeli drink the potion. Hmm. Well done. You are a touch more useful than I had thought. <laughs> Very well. Then you shall have your gift. Oh, thank you. Knowledge of the sorceress arts and of the tutelage of the great preceptor Celevis. I doubt Mathilde will lay within the grasp of a mere tarnished, but 
If you put your mind to it, perhaps you won't embarrass our lady. Perhaps. Let's see what you got. Um, also, you sure have a high opinion uh, for someone who just unboxed a... Wish to begin right this moment. A well, fucking guy. Your impatience, though boorish, is understandable. Let's have at it. Hmm, I'm not gonna give you a scroll. So, you had Nefeli drink the potion? Truly? Hmm. Perhaps something was amiss with it. It's concocted from the finest ingredients, but perhaps I should review the recipe. I may have expected too much of her to begin with. About that. You break into a man's private chambers, rooting about as you please. Your officiousness knows no bounds. Fine and well. You tricked Nefeli and had her drink the potion. I believe that makes you my accomplice. You yearn for a puppet of your own. Well, normally one of your stature would never be allowed. But perhaps I can make a very special exception. Now, choose. Oh, okay. So I get, I get a choice here. Um, do I even have... Oh, okay, this is for free. Let's just read these really quick. So, Spirit of Finger Maiden, who never met the tarnish she was meant to guide, he uses healing incantations and holy water pots, but she's not a fighter by nature and is ill-suited to battle. A maiden without a tarnish, a tarnish without a maiden, and yet no guide to bring them together. I wonder who she was meant to shepherd. Certainly not us, because we find our maiden, or at least pretty sure not us because we find what I assume to be our maiden at the very beginning of the game but then we have um, let me solo her <laughs> spirit of a man who wished to become the innards of a living jar a jar hurling specialist who throws all manner of pots and jars the warrior jar once told the nameless man this you are not ready to join the warriors inside no you must apply yourself better yourself and one day I will return for you now I wonder if the jar who told him that was Alexander, the great jar in Kalid, or another warrior jar entirely. Either way, this, this one's more applicable, even though I'm not going to be using it. Let's see. Can't afford any of these things, uh, even though that would be... Well, I mean, it would be pretty sweet to use, but I can't use it. Just see. So, uh, da -da 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 -da. Yeah. Nothing, nothing here I really want, anyway. What, uh, what scroll? Oh, okay, yeah, no, I'm not gonna do that. Begin Try this. Another lesson so soon. Ugh, there remains much to be done. Okay, so, what, do I have to, like, go back here, rest, and then go visit you again, so that we can talk? Because that's a pain, Celibus. You, you never cease, and excuse me for but a moment, I would like to make more arrows for myself. Uh, you never cease to be a pain in the ass. Celibus. And not like a, a, a cute, lovable pain in the ass like Patches. Just a utterly unlikable sort. But it's nothing that... I, or anyone else hasn't said countless, countless times, so I'll try try not to tread over this well-worn ground. We Oh no! Well, that could have... that could have gone worse, I suppose. Oh, yo yo Come on. Oh. Alright, let's try her again, shall we? Begging for another okay. So what? I have to hand this over to you? Is that a scroll? I won't bother to ask where you pilfered it, but... Oh, good, I don't remember. to assume I'm one of the few who can decipher it. So I'm perfectly happy to take it off your hands. That said, don't you dare get your hopes up. More often than not, new knowledge is merely an opportunity to reflect upon the mediocrity of one's intellect. 
How would you know? Okay, so that's Star Shower and Glenstone Comet Shard. Just looking at this. Uh... Oh, okay, well. Color me a little upset. I don't know what I'm supposed to do next. Uh, let's just take a peek here. Terribly sorry, just trying to figure out. Looking at the wiki. Okay, so. <sighs> okay. Okay. Yes, I understand that you don't want to sell me a puppet. I was just hoping that... All right. What am I doing incorrectly? Because it, it all but indicates that I should be able to purchase a puppet from him. Do I need to rest at the site of grace or what? Because yeah, maybe teleporting isn't enough. Forgive me, I'm going to do it one more time. This time resting. And I'm going to hope that it's enough. Man, it is a hot day today where I'm at. And, uh... The air conditioning unit in my apartment is not... terribly responsive. It's, it, it's gotten to the point where, uh... Crap. I'm just going to do this really quick. That's fine. Nice. I don't actually remember if I sat down, uh, so I'm going to have to do that again, unfortunately. Come on. One more time. All right, hoping for the best. Let's go. Yeah, it's gotten to the point where the it'll take most of the night to actually cool down to the temperature I set it because I set it at a relatively high temperature through the day to conserve energy and then turn it down at night but um, I don't know could be old could be that the other people in the unit who are connected to the same AC unit are demanding more of it. I don't know quite yet, but uh, oh well, man, I'm all turned around. Okay, Sylvis, please do not let me down. For another, the limit. Yes. What's that? You want another puppet? Quite the keen paramour, aren't we? Uh, but I'm afraid each and every one is like a child to me. That makes it I worse. I hardly just give them away. Oh dear, what's to be done? Why don't you fetch me some starlight shards? If you can manage it, I'll gladly prepare a new puppet for you. The soul of every puppet has its own ambience. You'll soon come to know, once you possess a few. And once each's predilections are known to you, the better you'll be able to love them. Oh yes, you have much to look forward to further down this road. I don't like a single thing you said. Okay, so I've got two. I need five. I thought I picked... Oh, yeah. I did pick you up. Okay. Um, mm. All right. If you'll give me but a moment, I'm going to just try to speed this up as much as possible, because I don't really remember where Starlight Shards are. I'm pretty sure I picked one up in Kaled. I must have picked one up somewhere else. Uh, okay, so Astrolabe near a cliff in the Weeping Peninsula. Let's try that one first. 
So we're just going to do a bit of a roundabout in the lands between, to the best of my abilities. Alright, the map is loading. Nope. Oh, okay. Goodbye. Um, really wish they would have put a Sight of Grace near you, but, you know, what are you going to do? Come on. All right, what am I even looking at here? What am I even looking at here? All right, so I need to go here. <sighs> Beside the crater pot glade. Hope for the best. Oh, sorry, birdie. I accidentally brushed his whiskers reaching for my phone. Okay. Oopsie daisy. I do need more, uh... Wow, there's a lot of you guys. I do need more bones. Because I'm just... perpetually... perpetually out of... you know, arrows. Alright, more than one? Woo, careful. That's just one. All right, so number one has been, or rather number three has been obtained. Astrolabe. Why is that called an astrolabe? It's a bowl. It's not what an astrolabe looks like. Okay, um, let's try southeast from Akeel Lake. See if that nets me anything. Okay, where... Where, Pritsis, are you? Um, no, but for real, though, where are you? Come on. So, oh, wow, you're like south-south. South-south-south. If you please. Oh, no. Well. Guess we're, um, going here. I've honestly... Out of... Unmatched fear for my life. Have never returned to this area of the map, uh, this cliffside, because I got tricked by a guy who is actually a rune bear. And it really. Oh, wow, there's a whole. There's a whole set of boys up here. Well, let's, uh. Let's beat up the boys. Also, our first look, as far as I can remember, of the doom that came to Limgrave by way of Radon. Um, by way of Radon, by way of us. Let's just take a brief, because I have no idea what's over here. I came here once, left immediately, never returned. Uh, but there's no real reason. That's a horse skull. What are you? Are you the bear? No, you're just a guy. Hey, that's neat. Let's take a peep at that, shall we? Um, where is it? Okay. Scroll of the Karian royal family. What is it doing here? And played Phalanx and Carry Carrion Slicer. Awesome. Well, that's good. Good to know that that's there. Um, I have a feeling that there might be something up on that cliff, too, so let's... Hey, boys. Walk up into the club like, what up? I got a big sword. Donk. Thank you. So sorry. So sorry to come here at a skill level so much higher than yours. But, uh, well, you know. Ay ay ay. okay, this is... Valcorpor a spectacular way to do yourself in. Okay, we got you. Yoink. So I do see an item down there. Just got a couple of bird bird boys. 
I could have walked up from there. Uh, I'm not afraid of you guys. Sorry. Is there anyone over here on this side of the uh, the fence? Ya, yeah, nay, ya, yeah, nay. No. Okay. Ooh. All right. Now all of China knows you're here, Mildred. Ooh, we got a. Oh. Congrats. That was a good hit. You're dead. Anyone else? Are y'all like afraid? Or are you gonna hit me? No, you're afraid. Okay. So, oh, a horse? Oh, well, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Don't mess with a lady who's been to Kaled. She'll, uh... Put you to rights. Okay, so that was number four. And number five... Waypoint seller awarded... Okay, well, can't... Can't do that one. Uh, close to Bestial Sanctum. Did I pick that one up? Maybe that's the one I picked up. Southwestern area of Kaled. Kaled Highway south side of Grace. You know me. Love a reason to go back to Kaled. And I'm also fully aware of the fact that there are plenty of things in Kaled that we have yet to do. There's a few things in... Uh, Leonia that I believe we haven't done yet. Okay, so that's... Mm, I have a feeling that I got this one already. Let's see here. Sorry, I'm just trying to, like, figure out what I'm looking at. And it's not easy. Okay, we're gonna try... Oh. We're gonna try being dumb, is what we're gonna try. See how that pans out for us. There we go, okay. Sorry this episode isn't very action-packed. It's a lot of goofing around. But, uh, well, you know, sometimes you, you gotta do a goof. Soon enough, we'll get back on track. As soon as I do all of this, what I'd like to do is uh, hit up Nokron. Whoop. Thank you. And with that, we have our five. Dearest, dearest friends, most patient companions, let us go get that which we seek from um, freaking the guy, and uh, we can wash our hands of him forever. I feel like my friends who I am in a group chat with, who also know that I stream uh, at this time, they wait for me to get right in the middle of my streaming and then start having what looks to be an interesting conversation in the group chat. Um, I don't know. Assigning any kind of deliberate intent behind that is not fair to them but given the amount of times my phone's been blowing up with some silly debacle that they're going through can't help but feel so soon Ugh, there remains much to be done make it quick Thanks, buddy. You're proving to be quite the puppeteer. I've not had an apprentice for a very long time in mm. Yeah, well, you don't have an apprentice. I'm not your apprentice. Um, I am simply following uh, Ronnie's instructions and taking what advantage I can from you, you dirty, dirty puppet mongler. All right, here we go. Are you here for spirit tuning? I am, in fact. We are here to tune Mr. Dung Eater. Oh, beans. 
Excuse me for a moment. I think... I've got a lot of rune. Just like, I can save the 50,000 for something a little more important than leveling up the dung eater. Okay. I'm gonna make this go a little bit faster for me. There we go. Okay. Bloop. I wonder if this will even be enough. Yeah, I should have looked at the cost. Well, before I put any more in me, let's see what I'm working with here. So, one, two, three, four. Okay, so yeah, it ends at four for me, for now. Are you here for spirit tuning? Oh, man. Yes, I am. Thank you. All right. Well, we we ding dang done it. We got the dung eater puppet. Um, let let this stream be a lesson to how quick it can go, and how even quicker it could go if only you remembered to follow all the prompts. So it's talk to him, uh, or find a seedbed curse, talk to him in uh, the round table hold, talk to him in a cell, fight him, talk to him in the round table hold, talk to him in a cell, and then do Syllabus's stupid crap and all of a sudden you're gold. I'd say it's an opaque and backwards way to uh, to have a quest line if it weren't for the fact that all from software quest lines are like that. Anyway, there's a trader taken care of. Onward to Nokrin then. Go on, I'll catch up. I'm still not clear which trader uh, it is that Blythe is talking about. Could it? I I think we all kind of have tacitly agreed that he's referring to uh, Celevis, because, of course, I didn't bother to go through the dialogue because he's a slippery shit, but um, I'm going the wrong way. Uh, Celevis, if you continue purchasing puppets from him, he'll say, hey, do you want to help me do a treason on Ronnie and you can you can try at least she totally sees through it and then all of a sudden you're you know not welcome at the tea party anymore excuse me for but a moment I have an itch that I must scratch um but could it not also be Radon because at this point Sel or Celevis is still alive if I'm not mistaken like you can read that message, and then you can go back to uh, Karian Manor, and he'll still be there, being, you know, the same awful person he is, but... So it's confusing. Is it just a temporal slip of the devs? Is it that he is simply assuming that you won't go back to Karia Manor until you complete the task set for you? Um, God, I am kind of, sort of, okay, I think, I think I am supposed to land there. Oh, well, yeah, sure enough. Uh, or is he talking about Radon or some other unknown traitor. No clue. And I guess just a reminder, even though we are doing the Ronnie questline, it is not my intent to do the Ronnie ending with this character. I don't think it would be thematically consistent. I still kind of feel that the, uh, the most thematic 
ending for this particular character is the Age of the Duskborn. Since it is one of, um, one of Mikola's desires to uh, give Godwin a proper death. And uh, to be fair, the Age of the Duskborn doesn't give him a proper death. Not really. It just makes him the first of the dead and kind of gives him primacy over those who live in death uh, instead of them being outcast. And also it maintains the rule of the greater will and the golden order. Well, maybe not the golden order, but the greater will, certainly, uh, by keeping... Also, yeah, let's just look at this. This... When I first came here, it really reminded me of uh, the last DLC in Fallout New Vegas, Lonesome Road, where you're walking through a cave created by just like a metropolis that was leveled by a subterranean nuclear bomb. It's just a little bit more, you know, gothic. Like maybe, maybe they blew up the Kolner Dome instead of Eastern California. So I, I asked myself this when I uh, realized that I was probably going to end up doing this part of the stream soon. Am I going to try to get this item? I think the answer is yes. Well. Instantly made me change my mind. I don't think that whatever that item is, is... Oh, no! Yeah, it's... <sighs> whatever that item is, it is absolutely not worth having to do all of this all over again. That sucks! Oh, well. What are you gonna do? Um, but yeah... There's... Confusion over what one who would serve Mikola by way of Melania uh, would do to properly set the land to rights. I don't think Ronnie's the answer. Oh, crap. Whew. That was almost terminally dumb. Uh, definitely don't think the Dung Eater's the answer, and also uh, that door has been closed to us as of now. Oh, it took some damage. Oh, well. Um, I think back when uh, oh, that's just Ghost Flame. Uh, back when Mikola was in his Golden Order Fundamentalist days and was creating, like, the Rings of Light and stuff with his dad, he probably would have really liked Gold Mask. But my, my impression of Mikola is that he just does not care for the Golden Order as it is, um, and as Empyrean would create a completely different sort of order, uh, which would not be unwelcome in the lands between... But alas, as it stands, um, with the endings we have, there's nothing that really approximates that. I also don't think that the, uh, the Age of Fracture, or whatever it is... Oh, wowzers! Owie! Okay. You're a bit of a jerk, aren't you? That's fine, though. It's okay. Um, and I kind of feel like, t to that effect, we... It wouldn't be outside the realm of possibility to, uh, get a completely different ending with the DLC. Like, you complete something, you pick up 
I don't know, like the Rune of Abundance or whatever it's called. And then all of a sudden you bring about the age of the Empyrean Mikola uh, as his Elden Lord instead of being, uh, you know, Ronnie's America's, or for that matter, why am I doing this? Oh, crap. Choose. Okay. And yes, of course, I forgot to mention one of the endings. Uh, the Frenzied Flame ending. Of course, that is not what Mikola wants. That's the, like... If not the opposite of abundance, then certainly... against the intent that, uh... Mikola has. Another thing I had been thinking about uh, earlier today is that the... Two of the three endings where you get a Mending Rune, in doing so, you are essentially incorporating one of the pariah groups into the Golden Order. So, with um, Fia and the rune of uh, the whatever it is, you know, the complete death wheel, I forget what it's called. Uh, you are okay. Yeah. Incorporating those who live in death into the Golden Order. Um, oh. And with the Dung Eater, you are technically incorporating the Omens, because you're giving everyone the Omen Curse, thereby making it to where either everyone's in the Golden Order cursed or no one is. But, uh, Gold Mask's Rune, it's unclear. It's called Perfect Order, and the implication is that um, he has identified that the main flaw of the Golden Order is that it was made by fickle, changeable demigods no better than men. So does that just, like, tacitly include all outcasts? Like, does that fold in... Albinorix and Misbegotten, as well as Omens and those who live in death? Or does it just, like, allow those who exist outside of it to be neutral? Uh, I'm not clear. I would like more information on the implications of quote-unquote perfect order. It sounds very... Uh, I mean, for lack of a better term, Third Reiki, uh, which, of course, raises my hackles. But I can't say with any certainty whether or not that's actually the case. Oh, sweet birdie, he's resting his head on my, my stomach. Oh, hello. Yoink. You know, if you wanted to drop some arrows, that would be okay. <laughs> Did I forget to sit down at the side? I forgot to sit down at the side of Grace. I'm dummy. I'm a straight up dummy. But that's okay. Where we're going, we don't need Grace, because we can do this. How do you like that? Yay! Yay! Well, I do like that. Hey! Shield buddies! Well, hello, shield buddies! Sorry, but I can't allow you to live, as it happens. Oh, jeez. There we go. Oops. Okay. Yes. Kind of what I was thinking. How many of you are there? Oh, that's fine. I didn't need to backstab you or anything. 
Ooh, we'll read that in a second. That's also fine. Didn't need to backstab you either. Yoink, yoink, yoink. So yeah, we're, um... Taking no prisoners. Oh, I forgot to read his thing. Anyway. Spirits of great shield soldiers who belong to the fallen hawks. A band of soldiers once who once, or sorry, that once explored the Eternal City. Stout defenders with a steady guard. Uh, though the, their methods are somewhat crude, they work well as a squadron and will attract the attention of enemies and lob, or lob ghost flame from the rear guard. They're actually really good, um, from what I've seen. Anyway. Spirit of a man who murdered thousands and defiled their corporate, or corpses with the seedbed curse. Wields a spying greatsword and hurls curses. Dung Eater despaired at how he met his end, how hideous and sinister this puppet is, and yet its utter despair invites one to care for it. <sighs> yeah, it sure does. Can't wait to see him in action, huh? Bet it'll have to wait a mo. A few mo's. Do, 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 do. Just gonna excuse me. I forgot to rest, so now I need to take my respite from you. Okay, I was really hoping that there would be Glove Ghostwort Five over here, but uh, what are you gonna do? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've cleared out this corner fairly well. I'll go around here. Hey, friend. Oh, no. Haha! -ha! What do you think about that? You want to do a surprise stab on me? Well, you can't. So there. Suck it. Oh, childish. Oh. Is there anything sweeter than the repose of a cat? My elder kitty, Harry, is... He's a little burnt cinnamon roll uh, on the arm of the couch. Not too far away from me. Oh, okay, so yes. Ooh, a mighty display. There we go. Not... Not my finest hour. Ooh, hey -o. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. This is a Wendy's. I don't even know why I'm that worried about health. Where we're going, we don't need health. Thank you. Anyone else? Or is that just your death... Your death cry? It's a pretty good death cry. Oh, yep. Look at you, bud. Uh, just stand in there like a jamoke. Watching as I murk your pals. I'm gonna heal. No harm in doing a heal. Alright, and now we descend. Huh. I never thought about the fact that you could see this part of Nokron from here. Uh, and this... I want to say is a part of Shifra. All that down there certainly is, but I want to say that like there you can access that from Shifra. Oh, hello. Ooh. Did you just Juice. Oh, excuse me. Good night. Okay. Yay. Yoink. It's almost like they are signposting to you that there's a boss coming up. Okay, look, I'm not... Yeah, I'm not stupid. Just come and do your thing, thank you. Oh, wow, wow, wow! 
Y'all are... Don't mind if I do with all these uh, larval tears. I'll need to use at least one. Well, probably two. My expectation for the sort of general timeline is that once I pick up Rivers of Blood, I'll need to use one. And let me just... Uh... Okay, so that costs 118. I have 95. So I'm going to need to use one of these. Pop. Alright. Okay, so now I have just enough goo to get on. Alright, so first things first, divest ourselves there. I don't care about the armor. And you might wonder, why would you go into a fight without uh, pals? Or without uh, weapons? Alright, come on, Poo Poo Boy. We've got me to fight. Alright, let's go. Oh, I forgot to unequip the... the bow. There's the bleed. Here, I thought this was going to be hitless. But it's the next best thing. Thank you. Thank you, Dung Eater. So yeah, Dung Eaters, he's a contender. I like him. Now that he is a... Uh, willless puppet. I'll sit down for a second. Replenish my stief. Okay. This is pretty. So is this. Wow. Okay, yeah, it's... These trees look almost like illusory trees. Oh, there you are. Thank you for not exploding in my face. Thank you for that. Um, yeah. Alright, cool. Cool stuff. Boo! Crap, wrong button. There we go. Lest we forget. No need to do this. Sillily. Yeah, I saw the nascent butterfly, but I find myself asking, what do I need with a nascent butterfly? Don't know what they're for. Oh. We'll take that, though. Okay, ghost glove wort. Now this is pod racing. And by that, I mean a view. I think that's my thumbnail. Let me just, uh, yep. That looks like a good thumbnail to me. Okay. So sorry for breaking the immersion every, like, ten minutes. <sighs> okay. I don't know how much we're going to be able to get accomplished here uh, in 20 minutes. But, uh, you know... 
We're gonna do what we can. Woo, let's not uh, be dumb here. If I can help it. Okay, so that that's that's a fall that would kill me, right? Because it looks like a fall that would kill me. However, I have a distinct memory of there being stuff down here. That being said, I don't want to go down here and then have to do this run all over again. So here's what we're going to do. What am I in danger of? Nothing. I was never truly in danger. The danger was a lie. I'm going to take this. And I'm going to take this. Yay. All right, we got Pally's. Pally O'Malley. Oh. Gottkfeld, Sharavenna. Who boy. Plus nine sword is serious business. Also, I realize that I'm kind of shooting myself in the foot by putting all of this amazing stuff into a uh, katana that I will abandon you know, after a while. Lord of blood, your eminence. <sighs> I beg you, grant me a seat at the table of the dynasty. Long live the Morgwin dynasty. Long live the Morgwin dynasty. Bruh. What? What do you hope to gain from the Mogwin dynasty? I... Inquiring minds need to know. Uh, oh, here we are. Sengestad. Sengestad. My wife loves these, uh, these sh shamans and their shaman songs. Uh... She does not like the way they look, though. She likes the dance, she likes the song, she does not like the being it is attached to. And I don't blame her. It's mighty freaky. Okay, this is what I'm looking for. You have no idea how long it took me to figure out what I was supposed to do here the very first time, but I imagine that's a... Uh, relatable experience for all who came to Nokron. Because Ronnie's quest is... among the most opaque in all the lands between. I think uh, the Three Fingers is probably the next most, because you go from seeing, uh, you know, Great Girl all over the place in Lyernia to not finding her until you fall into the sewers. Not so cash money now, are we? Okay, so that's two down. Look, I assume that there's a third guy somewhere up. Oh, yep, there you are. Ooh. No. Consider no. All right. Ooh, yeah, I need to... Heal myself. Physician, heal thyself. There we go. Sit down. Get some stuff back. So with 15 minutes on the clock, I suspect that what I will be able to do while I am here is light most, if not all, of the braziers and get rid of a very special someone. And by very special someone, I mean that red wolf of Radigan over there that I just detest fighting each time I find myself 
Okay, come on. Where is the... Okay, come on. There we go. And we're gonna do this. Cause... YOLO. Does anyone say YOLO anymore? Ooh wee! Ooh wee ooh wah! A cursed blessing on all of you. No, no, oh no. Did I beans this up? Well, what do we say I just challenge him mono a mono? It's not going well. <laughs> Ooh, wah! You jerk. Oh, crap. I do love getting the double hit on him. Are you kidding me? Oh. Oh, man. Well, you know. Wait, what? Mm, I'm a dummy! Oh no, I'm dumb! Okay, well now we know the answer to that question. Um, can I handle uh, the Red Wolf of Radagon on its own? No. Do I have to consume yet another rune arc? Yes. Am I happy? Not remotely. Where do I need to be standing to summon this dung boy? Like, for real. Okay, you know what, guys? Oh, you suck. Give me a break, all of you. Okay, so... <sighs> Was that enough? To get his attention? Okay, oh crap. Please say, oh, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, come on. Thank you. Oh, I missed. Okay. Gotta, gotta stay in his... Who are you fighting now? Okay, no, I deserve that. Ow. Hey, dung buddy. Ow. Oh. Can I get a break here? There we go. That's the break I was looking for. 
Yay! Okay. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for finally lending a hand. Yeah, you, you may leave now. You can go... Go back to... You know, the... The Sunship's place, or wherever. Yoink! Okay, so good. So, so good to be... Getting these somber smithing stones that I'll be able to use on other weapons. Okay, here's one of these boys. So I'm now at three of six. This area really reminds me a lot of, uh... Come on. Uh... What was I trying to say? Oh, come shown. Uh, the little garden in... Uh, the Hunter's Dream in Bloodborne, where you, uh, fight Garman. With all the white flowers. Okay. So there are two of you. And a rat! And, wow, a whole mess of rats. What do you think about that? Oh god, oh god. Okay, wow, 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 wow. Can I do a single thing that I'm telling the controls to do? Alright. Come on. What you got? Oh. Go. Freaking ABC's the slap over here. So, one of the, uh... One of the benefits of katanas is supposed to be that they're fast. But somehow this one's slow as balls, and I don't understand it. Okay, what do we got here? There we go. Okay, yes, I do see you over there, Raton. Oh, crap. There we go. I'm gonna light this. And you know what? I'm going to save the platforming for the next episode, because I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Platforming is stressful, and it's not the way I want to end the stream. I've got something like seven more minutes, but uh, I think what will likely happen is I will light the remaining two braziers and um, call it good from there. Oh my god! Did I learn nothing from Shifra? The answer is less surprising than you'd think. Okay. A lot of animals up here. Oh, come on. Yeah! I wonder if the head the headband's a guaranteed drop from her. No. Sorry. Not interested. Alright, well. That is that. Um, somewhere around here. Okay. Come over here.
Oh, hey, 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 guys, guys. Not like this. Ah, <sighs> design. Hey, Buckaroo. Ooh, come on. Ruh row Raggy. Okay, I believe somewhere around here, maybe. The sixth, sorry, sixth and final brazier. Nice! Will be accounted for. Now just yoink that and that. Okay, if I were a brazier, I'd be over here. Alrighty, 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 and a yoink. Da, 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 da. So here's what I'm going to do. I've more or less set myself up for success. Pretend like you didn't see me. We're going to... Park it right here and say our farewell, farewells for now. So, uh, luckily, this week, I am back to my normal streaming schedule. So it'll be 7.30 p.m. Central Time on Thursday, the 15th. Looking forward to seeing all of you there. And until then, it's Valcorpa out.